hope you're having a great day. So today it was supposed to rain this morning. So I came out and I just started harvesting buckets of flowers. I went through my annual garden and now I came over to my perennial garden and the rains that we've had, the weeds have just gone mad, but so have the flowers. They look beautiful. The yarrow looks beautiful. The cone flowers look beautiful. All of that Rebecca looks beautiful. It's just a really fun place to be in the middle of right now. But anyway, I'm just harvesting some yarrow. I don't have my cooler done, so I'm like, well, I did put up some sheets in the kitchen and turn my air conditioner on in there, and I'm just trying to keep my flowers cool. I do have some really big orders coming up next week, um, so at the least, I wanna deadhead some stuff to make sure I have a lot of flowers, which I think I have plenty. So anyway, that's what I have been doing all morning. Um, I will show you my harvest when I get back inside. All right, here's today's harvest. I have a ton more yarrow down there, but I think I'll just wait and cut it later because, yeah, I could just cut probably 20 buckets. Zinnias, I picked a couple of these because I have some bouquets to make today. Um, I'm starting to get a lot more status yellow and purple and pink, cosmos, snapdragons. Look at the gorgeous lozianthus. Love it. There's some sunflowers, some ageratum. I didn't pick all of it that I could have picked. And then two buckets of frosted explosion grass. So I just kind of made a little makeshift room it's a lot colder in here already just from putting these up to block the air going out. It's not a cooler. It's just the room I do all my flower stuff in. And I thought, well, while my cooler is under construction, I can do this and it'll at least be cooler in here for my flowers. Um, but I didn't pick everything. I have a lot of flowers. I think I have around a thousand stems to pick next week. That's awesome. I'm so excited. I can move some flowers. Um, but this week, well, this week's over. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. And yesterday when I was editing my video, I was like, I look so sad. So that's what construction work versus flower farming does to me. <laughs> it puts me in a sour mood. Um, I haven't been working on the cooler because it has rained for a couple days. No, it rained all day yesterday. And then I think I had a lot going on the day before and the weeds are out of control. So I'm going to go while it's still cool and I'm not just dripping sweat. I'm going to go try to weed some of the worst patches around my new yarrow um, just to try to get them to take over. And if it starts raining later, I will pick it back up on the cooler project. Um, I did. My dad and one of his friends came out and gave me some advice. <laughs> So now I have some direction on things to do next. I got a stud finder that finds the electrical current in the wall and I got my air conditioner. So I made a lot of progress running to Des Moines last night. I got a lot of stuff that I needed and I got advice from them. So I have more direction on which way to go. So I'm feeling good that when I start the cooler project again, I can jump into it and get some stuff done. So yay, that's exciting and now i'm just gonna go weed so after i make this bouquet i will pop it up on the screen and i'll let you know if anything else is going on today So just a reminder, I'm not doing the farmer's market tomorrow. I'm going and helping Nate with his ultra marathon. Um, so I didn't have to make market bouquets today. I did some harvesting, but I ran out of room in my cooler. So I pulled weeds. I got about one and a half rows in my perennial field done. Yay. And then I came in to my cooler room because it started to rain. It's not raining now. It stopped, but I have to get going. Um, but I did go ahead and I tacked up one wall. So I got this wall all tacked up. 
I just have other pieces laying on it. Um, and that wall, those are all tacked and ready to go. I moved those pieces off of this wall because I have an electrician that's coming out and they are going to put a moisture box on this and bring it out for me to be able to use and then make sure that I took that, I just took the light out and then I wrapped it really good with tape. So he's gonna make sure that's all good. No electric going to it because I removed the fuse, but I might put the fuse back in and then that way I can find any, I did find a stud finder yesterday in Des Moines and an air conditioner, yay. So I'm going, so now I can find where there's electrical current in the wall before I put the nails in. And it worked really well on the one wall that I got done and I removed those. And hopefully next time I can go ahead after he gets all done with his electrical work and I can get all of the first sheets just nailed to the wall and then I can start putting the insulation, the foam insulation and the tape in. And then I'll be ready for the second layer. Yay! So I did get all of that done today. And now I'm gonna take off because we are going to go to that race. It starts at midnight. Hopefully in the next week or so, I can maybe finish up that cooler and get my garden weeded and harvest. We'll see how much gets done. <laughs> I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend and I will see you in the next one.